Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and today I am back with a... This is not a subscriber requested video, and it kind of... I did a... I think I did a video, it's been a long time ago, about perfumes that don't match the packaging at all. Um, and I was going to follow that up with perfumes that perfectly match the packaging, but I want to do this one first, and this one's a little bit different. It's not necessarily perf perfumes that match the packaging as much as it is perfumes that smell exactly like either the color of the liquid or the color of the packaging. I've got 10 perfumes here, and yeah, there's only one that... I would say it doesn't necessarily, I can't see the liquid inside, but it evokes the image of a color for me. It smells like a color to me, so I pulled it. Um, even though it doesn't, I can't see the liquid, I, I am thinking that the liquid is clear, but I pulled it because it evokes a color for me. But anyways, I'm gonna be quiet and I'm gonna jump right in. The first one I wanna talk about is this one here. This is Dior J'adore and this is a perfume that every time I smell it, it smells exactly like it looks. It smells like gold. It smells like the color gold to me. It smells like smooth, sweet, golden flowers somehow. Like nectar, like honeyed florals. It perfectly matches the, not only not just the packaging, it perfectly matches the color of the liquid and the gold on the packaging because this perfume smells gold to me. Anyways, that and this is the Eau de Parfum formulation. I don't know if this if they have an Eau de Toilette. Um, I know they've got a ton of flankers and I've never smelled any of the other flankers, but yeah, this to me perfectly matches the color of the liquid. It smells like the color gold to me. So anyways, that is uh, Dior J'adore. Yeah, this next one is, again, it doesn't necessarily match the packaging. I've got both formulations of this. I've got the original formulation as well as this one, which is the reformulation. Um, I actually prefer the reformulation on this perfume, which is crazy, but this doesn't necessarily match the packaging, but to me, it perfectly matches this hot pink color. So this is SJP NYC. And to me, it smells exactly like this pink color. It's, to me, this is a strawberry perfume. It's got a ton of other notes in it too. It's got rum and, and but mostly it smells like strawberry and rum to me. And for whatever reason, it smells like that hot pink color. So to me, this, the way that this smells com like perfectly matches this hot pink. It smells hot pink to me. It's like a hot pink perfume. I think it perfectly matches not just the packaging, but the color. So anyways, that is Sarah Jessica Parker NYC. I hope this is making sense. I think when I get to some of the other ones, it'll make more sense that these perfumes smell like a color to me. Okay, next is this one here. This is Mugler Alien. This, I think this has been reformulated since Revlon bought them out, but this smells this color purple absolutely it's another one where there's something about it just like poison when i was a kid poison i guess because the bottle was purple i associated poison with grapes um and it smelled like grapes to me that's how this one this one does too there's, there's nothing grape about this but in my mind i somehow kind of associate it with this purple like this grapey purple color and I associate it with grapes, even though it's a totally a jasmine fragrance, but it's like a thick jasmine. It's like a jasmine like you've never smelled before. It's a totally different kind of jasmine, but yeah, just beautiful. And it to me, it smells like this grapey purple color. Absolutely. I think it perfectly, the smell of this perfectly matches the color of the packaging. So anyways, that is Mugler Alien. This next one is more of the, the smell of it perfectly matches the liquid. This is Replica by The Fireplace, and this, to me, this smells like the color of this liquid. It smells like vanilla, like a nutty vanilla, slightly smoky, woody fragrance. 
and it perfectly matches the color of the liquid. The perfume smells that color. It couldn't be darker and it couldn't be lighter. It has to be this perfect kind of cognac colored liquid. If it were darker, it would be, it would mean it would have to either smell smokier or more woody. If it were lighter, it would have to be less smoky and less woody. So it, to me, it's like the perfect shade of brown for what this actually smells like. Sweet, nutty woods. Oh, it's beautiful. It perfectly matches the color of the liquid. And every time I smell this, it's, it smells like this color. It's amazing. So anyways, that is Replica by The Fireplace. Okay, this next one, it really, this next one smells like the color of the lid, not necessarily the color of the bottle. Um, the color of the bottle can be a little bit confusing. So this is Moschino I Love Love. And this perfume smells exactly like the color of this lid. It smells like it could be in an orange soda can or something. It's so good. Now, the rest of the bottle though, so it smells like, you know, from here up. The rest of the bottle is a little bit confusing. I don't feel like it matches that at all because for me, that could look like something aquatic. Um, I don't know, something about the blue and white gives you kind of aquatic, aquatic vibes, but there's nothing aquatic about this at all. This is like orange soda pop all day long, like fizzy, effervescent, citrusy, tart orange. It's so good. It smells exactly like the shade of the lid. So anyways, that is Moschino I Love Love. This next one, this is an Elizabeth and James perfume, and this is Elizabeth and James Nirvana White, and this is another one that perfectly matches the color of the packaging. And I would be willing to bet that the liquid is perfectly clear. So with a perfectly clear liquid in this really beautiful stark gold and white packaging, it smell the, the fragrance smells white. It smells white and clean, like clean laundry and clean sweet skin. Oh, it's so good. It evokes the color white for me every time I smell it. And I feel like the packaging on this one is perfect. Just like I feel like Nirvana Black perfectly evokes the, like a black color for me. It's a beautiful, like warm, sultry, um, I think it's a sandalwood fragrance if I remember correctly. Let me see. Yeah, I've only got the oil in that one. Yes. Oh gosh. Oh, it's so good. This The black one is so good. And again, it evokes the color black for me. Pretty much all of the Nirvana fragrances smell like the color of their packaging. French Grey does, um, Amethyst does. Even though I think Amethyst is a weird name for what that one smells like, it's a beautiful sweet pipe tobacco fragrance. So I feel like Amethyst is a little bit of a weird name, but yeah, this one perfectly matches. They all really do. This was just the best example, I think. So anyways, yeah, that is Elizabeth and James Nirvana White, perfectly matches. This next one, oh my gosh, this smells exactly like the color of the bottle. This is Michelle Germain Sugarful. It couldn't more perfectly match this light pink color. To me, this smells like sugar and Smarties. It's funny, somebody just asked me if I knew of a perfume that smelled like Smarties. And this is the one that came to mind immediately. This smells like crushed up Smarty Powder. It is exactly what it smells like. It does dry down on your skin a little bit, maybe just the slightest bit smoother, but it always smells candy-like and like Smarties, even on the skin. This thing is an absolute beast on me too. It lasts for hours and hours. If you wanna smell like straight up Smarties, this is the perfume for you. And to me, it matches the packaging perfectly. Like the color of this bottle, this pink bottle, the liquid inside smells exactly like this pink bottle. To me, this is a light pink fragrance. It's a light pink candy fragrance. It's perfect. So anyways, that is Michelle Germain Sugarful. Okay, this next one, 
This one, it doesn't smell like the color of the bottle at all, but this one is the one that I was talking about evokes a color for me in my head. And so I definitely had to put it in this video, but this perfume smells like warm roasted almonds that are coated in cinnamon and sugar. That's exactly what this smells like. That's what it evokes in my head. I smell like I could close my eyes and, uh, and picture a bowl of warm roasted almonds that are coated in butter and cinnamon and sugar. It's exactly what this smells like. It's amazing. It smells like, I don't know, light brown. Oh, it's so good. So anyways, that is, oh, sorry, I didn't even tell you what that is. So this is Comptoir Sud Pacifique Eclats de Mans. Damans, I'm the worst. And yeah, it's amazing. It smells like the color of almonds. Okay, this next one, this is another one that this smells exactly like the color of the liquid. This smells purple to me. This is Guerlain Insolence. And this absolutely smells like a rich, syrupy, purple perfume. It smells like candied violets. If you could imagine like a tin of sugared candied violets, that's exactly what this smells like. It's so good. It smells purple. Oh man, I love it. This is one that it just perfectly matches the color of the liquid. I'm so glad that I've got it in this packaging too and not the bee bottle because I think it's still purple in the bee bottle, but I don't know, it's just not the same because it's too light of a purple. For me, this is a deep purple, like the color of the lid is what it smells like. It doesn't smell like a light purple, it smells like a dark purple. Oh my gosh, and it's so good. I adore it. It smells like a dark purple in the same way that Alien smells like dark purple, but of course, two totally different perfumes, like on two different planets. Oh yeah, I love it though. So anyways, that is Guerlain Insolence. This is the EDT formulation. The EDP formulation is in pink packaging, and but to me that one, it still smells purple. It doesn't smell pink, it smells purple. <laughs> okay, and then last but not least is this one here. This is Boucheron Iris de Syracuse, and this is another one that smells exactly like the shade of the liquid. You can almost not see that it's purple. Like, it's such a light, almost periwinkle shade of purple that it almost looks clear. Like you almost can't tell it's purple, but it is. It's just the lightest shade of like periwinkle purple. And this is the most beautiful, like light, delicate, powdery, powdery, but kind of bright, sweet iris. It's beautiful. And it perfectly matches that very delicate, light, like the lightest whisper of periwinkle is exactly what it smells like. Like the lightest shade, like the idea of purple without being purple or almost like a purple blue, like a periwinkle color. It smells exactly like the shade of the liquid. So it's funny cause you know that there gotta be people in that like make those decisions that are like, okay, well what color are we gonna make the liquid? And somebody smelled this and was like, it is the lightest shade of periwinkle blue. And whoever made that decision, I mean, couldn't have been more right. <laughs> and that's exactly what this one smells like. So anyways, that is Boucheron Iris de Syracuse. So anyways, guys, I don't know why I thought that I wanted to do um, this. I, I'm trying to think if somebody did mention this in the comments at some point that they wanted me to do a video to talking about perfumes that smell like a color or if I thought it up myself. I can't remember right at this moment, but either way, I don't know what possessed me to do it. It's kind of a strange little video, but I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.